What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new documentary series Big Vape The Rise and Fall of Jewel. Let's rock this. Let me start by giving you my context. I don't smoke cigarettes. I mean, I used to but not anymore because I'm more of a weed guy. <laughs> as you all know, and as you all also know, there are healthier much more fun ways to enjoy weed these days rather than to inhale it but anyways because i was always and will always be more into weed i did not care much i did not care at all for the jewel trend that was happening a few years back i was aware of it and now that this docu reminds us of it it only reaffirms my belief that that whole period was just lame. And ultimately, this documentary just doesn't do much for me. Sure, it may be informative in terms of giving you the information about vaping and smoking cig and the effects that both have on young adults. But ultimately, there are no good guys in this documentary. The Parents Against Vaping group annoys the hell out of me. They are overreactionary, self-righteous, and irritating. Their solution to everything is always banning. Ban this, ban that. And the flip side of that coin is not that great either. Hey, hey look, Jewel is now owned by the Big Tobacco. They have sold their soul to the devil that they initially wanted to fight against. <laughs> How hilarious is that? But money talks and turns people into hypocrites. And guess what? Everybody, and I mean everybody, is still smoking cigarettes. And everybody is still vaping today, left and right. Nobody is coming to take your sick away. Nobody is coming to take your vape away, you know, nothing is banned. So nothing, re nothing really changes. Everything stays the same. Hooray! Status quo! Pfft, what a goddamn joke. <laughs> Based on the new book, Big Vape, The Incendiary Rise of Jewel, by Time correspondent Jamie Ducharme, and directed by R.J. Cutler, Big Vape, The Rise and Fall of Jewel, tells the story of the vaping device that became a household name, exploring how one company's innovation went from achieving peak financial highs to running into devastating lows. In terms of the documentary itself, the format, the structure, and everything, I think it's very well produced and well put together, and you are in good hands because R.J. Cutler is an experienced documentary filmmaker who knows what he's doing. So. Throughout these four episodes of Big Vape, RJ meticulously takes you through the ups and downs of Juul and vaping in a way that's comprehensive and easy to understand. Even their replacement for the talking heads who want to remain anonymous looks eerily futuristic. <laughs> My only critique is that the topic of influencers takes up too much time and space. I mean, I get it. It's an integral part of the whole story, but it doesn't need to overlap from one episode to the next when they could have just condensed that particular segment before they segue to the whole health emergency issue. Um, the opinions from the former Jewel employees are interesting to me. One minute they could cheer for their founders, Andrew and James. The next minute they could question Andrew and James' baffling decisions. And the next minute, when, they, when the boogeyman FDA comes to town, they switch again to defending Andrew and James. But the arguments for or against them are thoroughly articulated and conveyed. And it just goes to show that some folks are complicated. So again, as a documentary, Big Vape is as well-made 
as any well-made docu could get. But at the end, as I implied earlier, it doesn't do much for me because, because there are no heroes in this story. And, and, I, and I don't feel strongly pro or anti-vaping either. I'm the, type of, I'm the type of guy that's like, you know, hey, you do you, boo. Just make sure you read the warning label before you go do it. If anything, if there's something to take away from Big Vape documentary is it's a cold hard lesson on the realities of capitalism and greed. Jules' mistake is not wanting to get big quickly. Hell, every Silicon Valley company wants to make it big in a short period of time. Their mistake is justifying evil in order to do good. And you can see it in this docu. Their earlier marketing style was basically big tobacco style. And their product itself ends up getting used by teenagers. And guess what? Big Tobacco's marketing strategy was also to get teenagers hooked early on their product. Jewel had this idealized vision, but they kept rationalizing and they kept compromising to the point that that idealized vision gets chipped away more and more and more by their desperate need and by that pressure for capitalistic success. It's true what they say. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. So yeah, overall I give Big Vape the rise and fall of Jewel the rating of 3 out of 5. I mean, it's interesting to know about it, but if you've never watched this docu or never knew anything about Jewel at all, it will not affect you whatsoever and you will be just fine. <laughs> so that's it. That's my review of Big Vape, The Rise and Fall of Jewel. Smash that like button. Share this video with everyone you know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this.